to the channel. Hope everybody's having a prosperous week or a prosperous month uh, in the month of May. And, you know, it's, it's been kind of cold here in North Carolina. We've been getting like 50 to 60 degree uh, weather at night. Uh, it's been about 70 to 80, I think, uh, last week. We actually got close to the 90s. But, you know, but like, hey, what the heck is going on here? Because normally it's hot or close to being hot and humid. But it's, it's not, that's not the case. Well, let me get back to the video. Um, I was actually servicing the lawn last week. And um, I said a property a couple doors down from me, there was a lawn care company that actually uh, you no know, drove up. Um, there was actually three guys that got out of the uh, truck. Uh, one guy was uh, mowing the grass, the other one was trimming, and the third one was actually blowing. And there was another property I actually serviced. And I seen four guys get out of the truck. There was one guy that was doing the trimming, one guy doing the, well, it was actually two guys doing the trimming. One guy was mowing, and one guy was actually uh, blowing the debris. Now, my question to everybody, now, uh, the property is about 10 to 15,000 square feet. And let's go back to the question is, how many people do you need to service a lawn, a residential lawn? Now, um, I can't imagine what that profit margin must be when you having three to four people. Now, if I'm wrong, just let me know. If you guys can kind of like drop me a comment or you got, uh, if anybody has like a large company, you have several people working for them. You know, how many people do you guys normally have, you know, on one property? Cause I, I just don't, um, now I haven't did the math or anything like that. It's, I mean, I just, I just don't see how they making a profit. All right, well, as always, Drop me a comment, and I'll see you on another one.